Now, when we have that much analytics, let's think about the reporting of the results. So for the report, I suggest we make a, a graphics first. So let's, for example, show how inserted money actually changed the liquidity. Um, in insert recommended chart from here. Uh, it's already, by the way, suggest a combo chart. But let's start from this one. OK. Uh, first, uh, we might want to get the uh, proper x-axis. It would be this one. Now we have months in there, and now uh, our inserted money is this. Let's uh, change the series chart type to columns. Okay, so this was our initial liquidity. We can make it red, and the new liquidity would be, let's say, green. And it's always positive. And inserted money, let's do, for example, I don't know, light green. Here it is, that simple, and we already have good understanding that, yeah, we uh, input monies in here and in here, and we get our liquidity stay always positive. So uh, let's create a report. Uh, it's a good idea to make it on a separate sheet. So we might want to use graphics in here. Uh, we might want to have... Um, some title, liquidity budgeting, report, for example. And of course, we can play a lot with a uh, uh, style. We can get our background white, so we don't have to see these uh, cells. Then uh, what we else can do is provide, for example, some information about uh, scenario analysis. And uh, here, uh, it would be kind of complicated copying all these things again. But uh, we want still to see what scenario we're chosen. So uh, let's make the picture with the link. Uh, we are simply copying that and then pasting it. Let's do it here with picture and the link. And the great idea here is when I change the scenario in the model, picture shows it differently and the graph is reflected. So practically we can see uh, where is the model right now. We can have here some uh, information about our inputs to let people know what were our assumptions. And uh, we can also get some info about the uh, data tables, for example, our sensitivity analysis. So uh, maybe some text box with some uh, comments about the graph, about the scenarios. So whatever uh, you feel reasonable to have. And then the good thing to do is to simplify your life for the future. In particular, if we go to the view and uh, we'll get page break preview. Yeah, now it's OK. So you don't want your page to be uh, half your graphs. So in this case, if we want to print it, for example, we will have on our sheet only half graphs. So uh, be careful in here and in page layout. You can uh, work with margins. You can make it landscape. You can work with the size. Uh, back to the view, you can actually make it look like a printable report already. But let's now make a trick. Let's make this report automatically printable. Let's make here a button, and by pressing the button, uh, this sheet, the, the whole report will be automatically saved to the PDF. And then we can send it by email to our boss or something. So record a macro first, and let's call it PDF. Okay. And what we want is file, save as, and save it as a PDF. Save and stop recording macro. Let me see what I have saved. Here it is. And yeah, my perfect report in here, everything I wanted to show. So uh, now what I can do, I can add a button in here. And we want PDF in here, and we can call it print to PDF. 
Let me see if it works. So I want to delete the PDF from here and let me click the button now. And yes, it's here again, everything works. And by the way, we don't have the button in here, that is very convenient.